which is the Good evening. I'd like to welcome everybody to the June 19th planning board meeting. Um, just a quick change to the agenda this evening. Brock and Mann has been dropped from the agenda and will be scheduled at a later date. Um, and we're going to Pine Ridge. Did he run out? <laughs> Pine, is anybody here from Pine Ridge? I just saw him. Oh, yes, you're right. I forgot the minutes this evening. Has everybody had a chance to read last, uh, last meeting's minutes? Yes. Right, can I get a motion? I'll make a motion. On the second? I'll second it, I guess. Uh, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So pass. Okay, <laughs> now let's go. Um, applicant uh, Pine Ridge, let him step up. Good evening. Good evening, how are you, sir? Good. Asher Horowitz. And you're here tonight Pine for? Ridge Estate. For? Extension for the preliminary approvals. And the attorney for the village asked us to update our paperwork. And I think we did everything right away, immediately. Mm -hmm. Everything should be updated. So? Everything's, I know we got the form, so everything is copacetic? OK. Um, so the status now is, um, like the attorney said last time, we sent in the judge's decision that we won the case, and we were hoping to move forward with the final approvals and with the Board of Health, but unfortunately, it got appealed, and that's a process that they gave him paperwork to appeal the case, and we had to answer on that, and we responded, and now we're waiting that it should get onto the calendar in state court, and I think the attorney for the village has all the updates. Good. How long of an extension are you looking for? I always look for one year, not to waste my time and your time, but that's up to you fully because I live in the neighborhood and I can come over any time and it's... How about we meet in the middle of six months? I am okay with that, Chairman. Can I get a motion to extend the Pine Ridge Estate um, application for the next six months? I make that motion. On the second? I'll second. Any questions? All in favor? Uh, Aye. If we could look on the calendar, make sure it's not a holiday or something. Yeah. So that would bring it to your December 18th meeting. I don't know if that's a holiday. That's OK. It's before Hanukkah, yeah. So that's um, Wednesday, right? Yep. Yes, that's OK. okay. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have we'll a good see night. You then. Thank you, John. Next item on the agenda, Woodbury Commons Phase 5, 2019 expansion. Review and possible action to approve a scope for a draft supplemental environmental ex impact statement in connection with the reference Phase 5 expansion. Said property is generally well known as Woodbury Common Premium Outlets, has frontage on Route 32, and is known on the village of Woodbury tax map sections 226, Block 1, Lot 1, and section 225, Block 1, and Lot 70.2. Good evening. Good evening, Chairman. Jennifer Canaric from Price, Mays, Shulman, and Darminia on behalf of the applicant, uh, commonly known as Woodbury Commons. I also have with me this evening Mr. John Villapiano. I believe you want to read in the um, agenda item? I did. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Um, we're here this evening to review the latest red line draft um, that was circulated by your board attorney. Um, I believe it was this past. Friday or Monday? So, yeah. Last couple of days. Last couple of days. Um, um, at this point, um, we would request to review those red line changes and have a discussion and take possible action this evening. Okay. Um, 
I wish we had a table just so we could all sit around. I feel very, it like. What? I wish we had a big table we could sit around. It'd be a lot easier. <laughs> well, I gotta, I'm the one that has to stand in the high heels, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so has the board had a chance to review the scope document that was given to us by Kelly? And I know there was a amendment on Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> So just so the board and the applicant, um, I, what I did was I provided the board with a red line scope. That scope incorporated our comments, Dennis's comments, Jonathan's comments. I received John Collins' comments um, after I had submitted this, so I think those were submitted to you separately. Yes. Um, and I also spoke with the with the applicant after I had distributed this to you. Um, so I just wanted to see if you had any additional comments. We did take into account the comments that were received in writing by the public that you had discussed at your last meeting. Okay, thank you. And you guys have received all the paper, all the comments, everybody's consultants. Correct, and, and I also had the opportunity to speak with your um, board Good. attorney as right, well on those comments. Just want to make sure everybody's on the same page and. Um, I think for the be the easiest thing would be um, we'll just go page by page. It should be relatively quick. Um, the consultant's comments have already been written in, so I think we don't we don't need to have unless you guys have anything you really want. I know you, with the traffic you have a couple of things, so when we get to that. Well, because those were the handwritten notes. I think we're on a later. And there was one um, comment from Jonathan that I mentioned in my email to you that just said he wanted specific the sites, for the visuals. Mm -hmm. the visuals. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Is, is that is that all good? We'll just go, we'll flip through. Absolutely. And... Thank you, Chairman. All right. Page two. Page three. Um, go ahead. Under interested agencies, I think it's the town of Woodbury Police Department, not the village. Okay, anybody, everybody else okay with page three? I have a blank page four. I'm very upset with this. <laughs> page five. I actually have one comment. Could I just add my email address, or you just add my email address at the bottom where it says council? You have Lou's email. Page six. It's out page six, or page five, out page six. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's okay. Still on page five. Never mind. You're page six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, page six. So on page six, there's uh, a, a comment uh, that the proposed project will assume all interchange and access modifications as part of the New York State DOT Exit 131 interchange improvement projects are completed. We just wanted to confirm that language with John to make sure that's. You good, Miss? You good, John? Okay. Everybody else on page six? Page seven. Yes. Um, 1.2.3. It talks about the helipad being on the northern garage, on the new parking garage, and on the map that we were given, it was on the the southern, the existing parking garage. Give them a moment to check the plan. Who can get the map first? Under the notes, it said the top level of parking deck A expansion to include proposed telepad platform. happy to amend either way I, I mean I think no one's kidding themselves on our side that the helipad location will be a topic of conversation throughout the EIS so I think it's important because over there it's more of a parking lot whereas if it was on the other one it's closer to the hotels so if it's going to happen 
I want to make sure that it's looked at where it's supposed to be. So we're just going to move that. Yeah, Are you looking at the phase five concept plan? Or are you looking at that map? I'm just trying to. I'm looking at the map from May 2nd of 2019. Yeah. Under notes on the right hand side. Just this deck. So a helipad just needs to be moved down to the uh, the existing four level parking garage. So I will move with the helipad to after uh, existing four level parking garage. That's okay with you guys. Okay. No. Yes. This is just the area that describes the proposed improvements, so you'll have to have the proper description of the improvements. Um, I had one thing. I know we spoke about a potential solar array on top of the new parking deck. I don't see it listed in, where did I see, under the proposed improvements, unless I missed it. Is that not the case anymore, or? I'm just trying to keep consistent. Yep. So are you guys okay with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anybody else on page seven? Page is blank. Page nine. One dot three. Where's one dot four? Right. Woohoo. Okay. <laughs> Page page eight says one point three, and then my page nine says one point four declaration. Right, so is okay, mine. But, but what I'm saying is, it's actually one point three. Okay. It's one point three. One point three. So basically, when all the changes are accepted, the numbering will be fine. Okay. So this is one point three. All right, so we're looking at the page that contains one point three declaration. Just so everybody's. We'll, we'll do we'll do it like that. <laughs> Anybody on that? Okay. Uh, one dot four format requirements, and then two o and two dot one. Uh, starting with two dot two to three dot o. Okay. You good. 3.1 to 3.2. 3, 3 drainage. Three dot four ecology. I had a question about drainage, John. Okay. Does anything drain to the Ramapo River or is it all going to the Woodbury Creek? Uh, my recollection on that is that everything drains to the Petman's Pond, which is the headwaters of the Woodbury Creek. And the divides further. I guess the division line is someplace near Nepera where everything goes to the Ramapo River. Yes. This this all goes down to the rear end. Curves around, I guess. <laughs> Anything else? No, this is this. I don't think it's uh, On 3.4 ecology. Uh, 3.5 noise. Anyone? 3.6 or 3.7. All right. Now we get into 
3.8 traffic. Um, 3.8.1 or 3.8.2, we okay there? Should we have any discussion about holidays there? I know it was referenced later on. But maybe specify the different holidays. recollection was that the holiday was actually the word that was in there and we changed it to peak period because generally our peaks yes they coincide with holiday periods but they don't necessarily fall on a holiday right so like so, Columbus Day weekend or something exactly like that. or you know the day after Thanksgiving not technically a holiday but we no one's kidding you know we, we know the we know our peak days so Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Anything else on those two sections? John, should we include uh, Gregory Lane uh, that gets some heavy traffic with especially buses during the uh, school uh, week? Uh, we could, I mean, I mean, could at least have a discussion with Gregory Lane. That is where all the school buses end up. Yes. So, so yeah. we'll be, it's good if I hate that you wouldn't have a third name. You guys okay with those changes? Okay. Yes. And then I know you had a little bit more on um, the other planned development in the area. So, 
19. Anybody on 19? Uh, what is it? Nah, it's like 3.8.3456789. Dot dot right before visual resources, which is 3.9. So anything up to, but not including visual resources, 3.9. Good. Okay. Okay. 3.9, visual resources. <laughs> oh, you want to go first, John? Is your microphone on? I guess with Route 6, probably the overlook would be the specific location yeah. we'd be looking for. And then the school, I mean, it's a big. Have you got any thoughts on that? I would uh, add directly in front of Woodbury Commons from Route 32, I mean, thousands of cars pass by there. Yeah. <laughs> I can't count the number of lanes. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have any other suggestions for visual? Can I just ask a quick question on that? Yep. Um, mention of surrounding residential neighborhoods. Is there ability to quantify that? I was. Junction, depending on 
<laughs> the name on the actual subdivision is Woodbury Junction. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Kelly, you got that? <laughs> In the high school, you have a vantage point to the common. The middle school has a view, but also you have a view from the high school too. It's a, quite a hill. Because I think the Route 32 covers the school, but if you go back to the high school, it's pretty much the middle school. for the, the pond. That, that looks right in the trees. The, the, the trees. I, would, I would say the entrance, it, I would suggest the entrance to WP3, Woodbury Villas, Woodbury Junction, looking, because that would get you the, yeah, I would get you the high school, like, yeah. It's the same view. I, that's what I'm mumbling to myself. Yes. Right, the high. I do we would need to put the high, the high ground in WP three. Yeah, or? Okay. Can you do it with the selfie stick? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You good, Kelly? Okay. okay. Anything else under visual resources? Cultural resources, 3.10. Yes, no. Okay. 3.11, utilities. Anybody? Okay. 3.12, community facilities, public safety, and services. Not just a head scratch or? So his hand go up. I didn't know he was just head scratching or. Anything under 3.12? Okay. 3.13, socioeconomic conditions. about all this tax revenue if they're getting tax abatements it's like you're giving if you're talking about all these taxes without considering the abatements it's not a true 
or am I not thinking of it properly? Well, I think, I think it's the net benefit for the grocery. So you want to see it as a net benefit when you evaluate everything. Right. As opposed to just the positive side. Right. I mean, if you're going to, and I'm just pulling a number, if you're saying $11 million in, in taxes, but that's a gross without the. I like that. What if in potential impacts we just put projected real property taxes net and growth? Okay. Something like That's that. That's fine. Um, and then if there's obviously if everything comes in and you have additional questions, you can always ask for that. Microphone. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, any comments? We yeah, okay there? Uh, perhaps. Can I ask, uh, would it be appropriate to add uh, impact to local businesses in this section? Or is that out of the. I think that's a little bit out of it. I mean, that would yeah. really be completely hypothetical. There's really no way to necessarily measure it. Measure it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else on 313? Uh, 314? Construction effect, sequence and phasing. Anybody? 4.0, unavoidable adverse impacts. Well, you bolded it and underlined it there. I was trying to keep it consistent with how that was. I feel like I should have used a much stronger voice to read it. <laughs> Anybody on 4.0? 5.0 alternatives. I do, actually. So I left in a comment there. put down is the very last sentence which says such alternatives will include but do not have to be limited to. That was, my parenthesis there was really directed to the applicant. I didn't want them to feel like the board was shutting them out of any other alternatives that I didn't think of when proposing these. Um, so if, if you have any other alternatives that you want studied, we can list those. I asked if they had any others. It's kind of a, I don't want you to feel left out. <laughs> no, so I would I would be removing that parenthetical. Okay. If you have any other alternatives, I think what's been suggested came from your consultants. I think they're good suggestions and things that the board discussed over the course already. Okay. But I just wanted to let you know that I take out that. Understood. Thank you. With that said, anybody on that section? And I spoke with Kelly earlier and concurred with with her and you don't feel like that? I don't know no. we cleared it up <laughs> all right uh, <coughs> excuse me six dot up anybody on six dot up I feel like this should be an auction seven dot up speak now anybody eight dot up is no. there Oh, go ahead. On, on that one, could uh, we have a discussion on solar uh, energy with the solar panels? Uh, could we add that into that? Because they're talking about energy conservation and. Put there, including solar energy. Is that but I think this is. Um, yeah, that's where I was looking. Yeah. Microphone. <laughs> I'm going to get a little sign. Yeah, it, it could be, it could say right after that, I think Jonathan's right, after the energy to be used, we could say and energy sources uh, developed on site through solar energy or something along those lines. Energy sources to be developed on site. Yeah. Comma. 
anticipated level. Okay. You guys. Okay. Good with that. Anybody else on 8.0? 9.0. You smile like no. Because it's only one sentence. Oh, okay. <laughs> and ten dot Anybody? Uh, anticipated appendices. Yes, no. Well, we've reached the end of our document. All right. Well, there are no more comments that I would recommend that is um, subject to my. I'll make, I'll make the motion subject to council's inclusions of the items that we've discussed this evening that this board vote to adro uh, ad uh, adopt the draft EIS for Woodbury Commons phase five. I second it. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank good. you very much. So, you don't need that special meeting? No, then uh, the meeting that we had scheduled for the 20th. Six. 26. Then I guess we'll just cancel that meeting because we're. What? If I could add, what, what's the board's July meeting schedule? July 3rd and then two weeks after that. Oh, you are meeting the 3rd. Okay. And we have a quorum, so we will, we will be meeting the 3rd. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hmm? We're going to take care of that then. All right, uh, at this moment, I'm going to pause the meeting to go into attorney-client uh, discuss, to discuss correspondence that we have received uh, tonight with uh, an application on our agenda. So give us a few minutes. We'll be back out.
Okay. All right, and we're back. Um, Sorry. <laughs> uh, Apple Hill Weiss had uh, requested that they be removed from the agenda this evening. Um, after consult with council, we have agreed to remove them from the agenda, and they will be back before this board uh, when they resubmit uh, changes to their application. Uh, with no further business amongst the board, I look for a motion to close. I'll make that motion. Second? Anybody? Third? No, I was looking for a second, but then... <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night. Thank you.